everyone. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Noelle and today I'm going to take you on a tour of the New Clark City Athletes Village. Now, this is where the 2019 SEA Games athletes stayed. It also formed a part of the country's quarantine facilities during the first two years of the pandemic. It's not a hotel. It's athletes' quarters. And when New Clark City hosts certain uh, sporting events like duathlons and triathlons, they open up the athletes' village for regular people like me to stay. So that's why I'm making this video so that you have some idea of what the facilities are, what you might want to bring to make your stay more comfortable, what's available on site so that yeah, you know exactly what you'll need when you come to stay here. National athletes do come here to New Clark City to train. They stay here for maybe a few weeks at a time. And so that's why it's not what you would normally find in hotel accommodations. In fact, I would describe the rooms as very Spartan. So I guess it's um, kind of to keep the athletes focused on their training. Although the room does have a widescreen TV, I don't think it's connected to cable though. So, but if, if you have, like, let's say if you have a digibox that you can bring along with you from home, then I think you can watch TV quite comfortably here. Now, the air conditioning is also very cold. Um, each room is provided with its own window type air conditioner. So you're confident that you're not sharing the same air or exhaust as other people in other rooms. So if let's say my next door neighbor has a cold, I'm not going to get their cold because we don't share the same air system. It, you, you have a bed, uh, a thin cover sheet for a blanket, but you also have a nice fleece blanket as well. You have one pillow. Um, each room is designed to fit a maximum of three people. The Athletes Village has a no eating in the rooms policy, also no smoking or vaping, but no eating. And so you won't have the mini bar type of facilities that you would normally find in a hotel. You won't have the instant coffees and teas. There's not even an electric kettle here, so you can't really heat water. Um, and I, I guess it's to discourage people from um, creating cup noodles and stuff like that and leaving um, food debris in the rooms because they don't want pests to make their homes here. Um, also, the rooms do not come with towels, shampoo, soap, conditioner, toothbrush, toothpaste, toilet paper. You'll have to rent a towel for about 100 pesos, but it's a nice towel. And the bath kit, which contains your toothbrush, toothpaste, uh, wipes, toilet paper, soap, that's at 150 pesos. You have to buy it at reception. Some positives though, each room, each bathroom has its own water heater system, a multi-point water heater system. So the water from the faucet and the water from the shower they're both heated, so you can actually take a very comfortable, nice, warm shower after your exertions, which I'm just about to do. As for amenities on site, this place has a pool, a basketball court. You can use the gym if you want to. For food, they're supposed to have concessionaire in the mess hall. But I went down there and nobody's selling food or beverages and drinking water is also not available. So I'm not sure if that's just because there are very few people staying here this weekend and that's why the concession, the concessionaires aren't available at the mess hall. However, there is one restaurant on site here at New Clark City. And that's Nolens, which is um, next to the aquatic center. If you're staying overnight, at least there's a place you can grab a bite to eat before you go to bed. Um, for breakfast, though, if you're going to do a, a very early morning start, uh, I'm not sure. 
how you're gonna have any hot food. Uh, if you want, you can bring like uh, packaged food, but you cannot eat it here in Laguna. So maybe have a picnic in your car in the morning before your bed start. The beds are quite comfortable, although I did have to steal one of the pillows from the other bed because I was staying here by myself anyway, so nobody else was using the pillow. Um, so I, I had two pillows to myself. I also borrowed the other person, the other bed's blankets. So I had a really comfortable sleep last night. Uh, the rooms are also quite soundproof, unless that's because there's nobody else staying in the next doors to me. But I didn't hear the noises coming from outside the building. So that's a good thing. Anyway, that concludes our tour of the Athlete Village. I'm about to pack all my stuff up and check out. I hope you enjoyed this video or found it informative in case you ever do end up having to stay here the night before a race. If you like this video, if you found it informative, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't yet and I will see you again next time. Bye!